Hey guys, it's Kay, I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to be talking about Kodi, and in particular the latest version, which is the Nexus Alpha 1 version, which is available for download. So this version is the precursor to the final version, which will be available in a few months. So this version may be a bit unstable. So what are we getting in this new version? Well, we're getting some aesthetic changes, along with some hardware decoding changes under the hood. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. But first of all, if you're new to all this and you don't know what Kodi is, let's take a look. So basically, Kodi is your ultimate media center. It brings all your media together under one interface, which is smart and easy to use. It plays almost all the media you're going to find, and the codecs are being constantly updated. So of course it also works with your music collection, supporting most formats and playlists. And formats include MP3, FLAC, WAV, and not forgetting WMA. And in terms of movies, it supports all the main video formats including streamable online media, and it allows you to import, browse and play your movie collection with ease. And it works exceptionally well with TV shows. Cody's TV show library supports episodes and season views with posters or banners. You get show descriptions, actors and even watch tags so you can keep track of your watching history. And it doesn't stop there. It works great with photos. You can import your photos into a library and browse the different views, start a slideshow and even sort and filter them all with your remote control. Now Kodi also allows you to watch TV and access a PVR with all those PVR functions. And it works well with all the popular backends. And guess what? Gaming also works well on Kodi. It works well with a lot of emulators or you can even play standalone games. And there's tons of support for most of your game's controllers. And if you find yourself getting bored of the same old interface, Kodi allows you to change the whole appearance of the interface using a variety of skins. And of course the real power of Kodi comes from its add-ons and there's tons for popular web services, applications and scripts. Another cool feature of Kodi is the web interface. This opens up tons of possibilities with remote controls and even the possibility of controlling via web browsers. And the icing on the cake is Kodi runs just about on any kind of device you can think of, including any operating system. Okay, so now you know everything there is to know about Kodi, let's take a look at what's new in the Nexus Alpha version. So this is a major release and it comes with a lot of new features. But of course, as with all new updates, it can cause problems with the existing users, so proceed with care. So in terms of updates, what are we getting? Well, for video, we're getting AV1 hardware decoding for Android and Linux systems. So AV1 decoding is a codec that gives you 30% more compression while offering you the same quality for 4K videos. And we're getting a bump to FFmpeg. And FFmpeg is basically a tool which quickly changes an AV file's format or quality. Now we also get updated subtitles. And among other things, we get new font style settings such as border, size, color, and background. We get support to display subtitles with dynamic positions. We get underlined and strike through text support, a new wide color palette in color settings. And we get a setting to change text alignment for closed caption subtitles. And now when Kodi is in Windows mode, the subtitles are now always displayed correctly. And we're getting better support for multiple languages. And now when you're looking for fonts, you get an improved font list setting with the actual name of the fonts listed. And we get the ability to change the subtitle settings while we're playing back media without having any adverse effects. And if we scroll down a little bit further, we get some fixes for discs. There's been a fix for resume of Blu-rays and DVD ISOs in the file mode, not in the library. And there's a fix for playback on some optical discs for Linux systems. And other things that stand out to me are the fixes on the GUI, which of course is your graphical user interface. They've fixed some context menu options here, not triggering at the respective built-in action, i.e. some of the menu options are working now. We're getting independent volume settings for the GUI sounds and we're getting a password reveal button in the keyboard dialog. Now under input we're getting added Steam Deck built-in controller support. So if you have got a Steam Deck, you're in luck. You can use your controller to navigate Kodi. There's also some minor changes to skinning, including adding a new color picker window dialog to allow display a color list. And further down we've got changes to the games. We're getting a save state manager for retro player with captions describing the state of the game. So guys, all these changes so far might sound minor to you, but having them all together in one release gives us a more smoother, dynamic experience with Kodi. And even further down, we've got platform specifics. So these are just changes made to individual Kodi installations for individual platforms. And as you can see for macOS, we get initial support for the M1 chip. And for the Windows version, we're getting improved hardware video decoding, which reduces the video memory usage on NVIDIA and AMD graphics cards. So guys, like I mentioned before, it looks like a lot of small changes which add up to a big change. 
in the new Nexus Alpha release. And if you want to check it out, just click on the link at the bottom of the page. And as of creating this video, there's also been a new Alpha 2 release of the Nexus version, which has got slightly more additions than the Alpha 1 release. So if you're feeling brave, go for that release. Anyway guys, if you found this video helpful, please do give us a like and do consider subscribing for more great videos like this to keep you updated in the latest tech news.